Hi, I'm Kevin Fortune and I'm going to be answering your questions today. So what has your journey been to get to this point? My journey. Um, well, let's go way back. I'm, I'm from Luton, from a council state in Luton and um, uh, I worked really hard. I didn't particularly do that well at school because I hated school. It's not that I couldn't do it, I just didn't like teachers anyway. But um, I went to college and I realised that there was a, that, that art, I was into art and I was into developing that aspect of it. But then my mum and dad really wanted me to get a, a proper job so I started working for customs and excise at an early age and worked and progressed. And um, I think I worked out from a very early age that if I I'm interested in something and I put enough energy into it and I practice or I um, develop a skill then I'm going to achieve and I'm going to go further and I, I'm guessing that comes from my dad because my dad always used to say to me put your mind to whatever you're doing Kevin you'll succeed in whatever you want to do what do you want to do stop messing around at school just put your mind to what you're doing and go for it so I'm very much that kind of person that I would work really hard or find some way in which I would develop something new all the time. I'm always like that. I'm a bit of a workaholic as well so it, it doesn't concern me about working 14, 15, 16, 18 hours a day. I started work yesterday at 6.30 and I got home at 1. That's just when you're passionate about something and when you love what you do and there's nothing else that seems to bother because it's not work it's something that you really love doing and so creating the, the Kevin Fortune Hairstyle and Academy is it's hard and it's difficult and there's lots of challenges but the challenges are fun I mean a lot of people feel that you have to get somewhere and you have to get there really quickly and I feel and I know that it's the journey to that place that the gold is there because there's so much fun when things don't go right because you get to create something new that will work you know it's so much fun when meetings don't go the way you want because next time you go into the next one you've got a whole kind of idea of how you really want it to go the next time so that the school has been very much like that an ongoing progressive development day by day by day so my next question is what are the top five tips of getting on top and staying on top? Okay, number one, passion. Number two, enthusiasm. Number three is following your joy. Number four is instinct. And number five is it's not so much like a perseverance but do what you say you're going to do and do it really well next question is share your top wows words of wisdom proverbs philosophies that help to guide you through life mm. I don't listen to anybody but I take in what they're saying um, I follow my own dreams and my own heart and if something doesn't feel good, it doesn't feel right in here, then I don't do it. And the reason why I, I know that now is because I've been stung a few times where I've gone with something and it hasn't gone the way I thought it was going to go. And it was, it was either messy or it was horrible or, it, or, you know, or I lost a lot of money. And um, when I look back at it now, there were moments flashback moments when I thought, oh my god, it was an obvious kind of message going on there that I didn't recognize and I ignored my instincts, so follow your instinct. Next question is, who inspires you, your attitude, your style and why? Who inspires me? God, who inspires me? I don't think there's anyone in particular that inspires me. I think everything inspires me. And that's so generic to just throw out there. But I love, 
I love walking down the street. Like I was walking down the street this morning, there was a guy walking down the street with a moustache and a great big hat and his trousers were around his his shins and he just looked great and, and you know and I and I loved his socks and I thought I love your look and I know I'm gonna walk away and just steal a couple bits of those so everyone everything every painting every book inspires me there's always something out of them tell us five things we don't know about you five things you don't know about me well you don't know that I have two brothers and a sister um, one brother is an amazing teacher in Bedford, head teacher. Another brother is <clears throat> one of the big managers for the London Underground, earns very good money. <laughs> and my other sister has just got promoted and is a manager of a whole department looking after lots of men. So she's in charge of lots of men and she loves it. So what else you don't know about me? Um, I've been with my partner 15 years this year. It's pretty good, good going, I think. Still in love. There we go, you don't need to know anymore. Which track, songs, or music compilation inspires you and why? Okay, this is easy. This is so easy. There's an album called Missouri, Beyond the Missouri Skies, and it's by Pat Metheny. And he's an easy guitar playing genius and i'm not using the word as in a, the, the 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 modern day oh it's genius oh that's genius no he's a genius and what he can do with the guitar is is just unbelievable and i've had the album for i think about 17 years and for about 15 years i listened to it every single week so that's my favorite album of all time. There's not, and then he brought another one out, and then that's my other favorite one. So out of all the albums I've got, I would play that again and again and again and again. And it's beautiful. It makes me relaxed. It makes me peaceful. I'm happy with it, or I can be sad with it. You know, and the music is just. I guess that's what heaven would sound like when I go over there. What is the best wow from a track? Oh God. Now that's difficult because I um uh, um God the uh from a track. Um Well there's a nineteen sixties um album it's not an album, sorry, it's a film called Alfie and there's a track that um, Dion Warwick and um, Cilla Black rap song, sung called What's It All About and I think the words in that makes me think sometimes what's it, what's it all about Alfie? Is it just for the moment that we live? And um, if you know what the film's all about, it's about the 60s and you know, a guy running about and having a great time and not wanting to settle down. And, you know, it's just, I've, I've played it a hundred times and it always makes me think, it just makes me think, is it just for the moment I'm living or is, you know, there's other things to take into consideration. So that one, that one line inspires me. What book would you recommend others to read and why? I'm sitting there thinking, well, you'd never read any of the books that I read, but who's to say that? So the best book I would say that I would advise you to go and pick up is called Ask and It Is Given. Now, the title kind of like sounds like, oh, he goes to church or something. It's got nothing to do with that. It's all about the laws of attraction. And it's the most powerful book on the planet, or one of them. Um, it's about by a woman called Abraham Hicks, um, Esther Hicks, and it just inspires me and it's transformed my whole world. My whole world has come into being by knowing that I'm the creator of my world and how I say it's going to go shows up the way I say it's going to go and it's not influenced by anyone or anything else. Um, so that's the most powerful thing on the planet.
to know. What is the craziest thing you've done, you have done to pursue your dreams? Wow. So, uh, what's the craziest thing I've done? Okay, so many years ago, when I was very young, I was really attracted to someone. And I was attracted to them for like two years, but nothing ever happened. It was always like a whatever, get lost. You know, and um, that was them to me. And um, they told me that they were going to work at Heathrow Airport, and I did everything in my path to find myself working in Heathrow Airport. And it, you know, I was trying all kinds of things. Didn't get a job anyway. Finally, got a job working for Customs and Excise in a VAT office in London. Two years later, after working really hard, I found out that um, I could get promoted. I got promoted and found out I could move to the airport. I moved to the airport, I'm standing in the airport, and who walks up to me but this same person? I was just like, what? And so, but, so that's one of the craziest things. And then, after working there for about four years, I decided I don't want to do some more, and I want to be a makeup artist and hairdresser. So I took early retirement or early redundancy money. And uh, my mum and my dad, everyone was like, are you crazy? You've got a great job with a pension. I was like, pensions? Who's thinking about pensions at the age of 22? You know, that's like a thousand years away. Forget it, I'm out of here. So I took all my money out of my pension, <laughs> spent it all on training, which I've never looked back. I followed my passion, I followed my dream, and it all worked out perfectly. What are the coping strategies for when things are not going quite so well? And do you have any relaxing techniques or relaxation techniques that help you to find balance? So I meditate every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. I, it, and meditation doesn't have to be uh, um, or banging some chime or something. And actually, meditation could be listening to a tap dripping. If it doesn't irritate you, then the, the, the consistent um, repetition of something can slow your thought patterns down and um, it, it helps me. So why am I talking like some of the third party? It helps me to slow my thought patterns down and just focus on just that sound, just that sound. I do it with music or I will even do it with my cat sometimes at home. Just focus fully on the cat right now. Apparently you have up to that 60,000 thoughts in one day and if you can slow them down and limit them then you have less stressful thoughts coming in. It allows me to um, allow lots of positive new inspirational ideas come flooding through. So every day, every day. And I notice if I don't do it. I notice if I don't do it. What's going on with you at the moment or what's in the pipeline? So. I've got my new school, that's quite exciting. Uh, it's still building up. Um, I may start working for a hair company. Um, can't say anything about it. There's a makeup company in the line, in the pipelines that I could start working with them. Very excited about that. Um, uh, there's another aspect to our website where we want to expand it and start selling products. Very excited about that too. So there's so much going on. You know, I don't even have enough time in the day to even consider some of the things. It's just, or it's not too much because this is what I asked for. So I have to count my blessings every single day and say, I asked to be busy. That's all I to say. Any final advice other tips, comments, or suggestions for young people to try to make it? My advice is each and every one of you can make it and go further and beyond anything that I could possibly imagine. It's, it's easy to say, no, I can't do it or to give up. That's the easy option. It's easy to say, oh, I, I failed. It's never going to happen. That's the easy option. The, 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 the tough part is to say, you know what, I'm going to go with it, I'm going to stick with it, I'm going to see it out. And the thing that overrides that is that when you're passionate and excited about what you do, there's no tough part because every single aspect of it is a learning curve which helps you develop 
and move forward. So that's my tip, just go for it and you can make it. Please look into the camera and shout us out. Thanks Ediction. This is amazing. You know what, I really hope you get the opportunity to assist and support thousands of young people. It's really great what you're doing.